Thanks for tuning in for another video. Today I have the new version of Android Auto, which is Cool Walk. If you stopped using Android Auto because it was a little clunky and it didn't work the way you wanted to, think about giving it uh, another shot because actually uh, Cool Walk for Android Auto is actually pretty good. So you have uh, here, you have the map section here and you have the music here. This could be switched if you want. So you can have the maps on this side, the music on that side. I'll show you how to do that. We have uh, your clock over here and your notifications will give you, you know, how many you have there. And if you do get a notification, it will pop up in the top half over here. Then uh, these are most recent apps. This is the most recent map app, uh, your music app, and your uh, phone here that you're using in case you're using different um, apps for each of these. Then over here will be the last app that you just used. So that will go right here. Then this is the microphone. You can click on that, and then you can toggle up uh, Google Assistant. You can also do that just by hitting the button on your steering wheel to activate it. And then if you go here, you hit this button. That will give you your apps that you have here. And you can go through all those just like before, basically. Later in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do something like this, which is actually a really cool feature that most people don't probably use. You can just a shortcut, so you can make anything you want, uh, and you could have it as an icon over here. So this could be, show me the score of the Yankees game last night. It could be, show me directions to my office every day. It could be, um, is it gonna to rain tomorrow? Uh, what's the weather in this location? Direct me to the nearest Starbucks, any of that stuff. You could have uh, as an icon here. Then you just tap it, and it will go right to uh, that function, whatever you want it to do. Basically, you can think of it as anything you could ask Google to do, you can put it into a little icon here, and this way you don't even have to ask Google to do it. You can just hit the button. In case sometimes Google doesn't understand exactly what you're saying or doesn't get it exactly right, you'll have a preset icon that you could hit, and it will go right to the thing that you want, which is great. And so if we just go uh, back into the music here, if you have uh, you're playing a song over here, it'll give you the album art. But then if you flip over here, you could just change uh, to a different uh, playlist or whatever you want to do. And then uh, the other thing is if you want to uh, make the map big, you just click it, and then it will go big like that. Then you could just click this down here, and it'll get you back into this thing. You could make this big like this, and then your music's big. So kind of adjustable. And there's a couple of settings that you can change on this thing. So let me just show you this. Then there's more settings you can change on the phones. So we crawl, scroll here, get into settings. And uh, so this is basically when your notifications pop up. You could have the conversation show up on the screen here. You could have the first line of the conversation show up. You could uh, play a little notification when the uh, you get a message or something like that if you like. Then this is for startup mode. You want Android Auto to start automatically. I would click yes on that. And you could have it start the music automatically. So whatever you were listening to last, it will automatically stop playing again. Some people may not like that because you want your maps from Android Auto, but maybe you want to listen to the radio for a little bit. So you, maybe you don't want the music to start automatically. It's up to you uh, to decide. So for the wallpapers, you just click on this. And there's only a few to choose from here but you can change your style a little bit if you want. There's no way to download photos and put it on there. As of now, that might change in a future update. And then uh, we got the day-night mode for maps. You could do that automatic. You could have the night mode or the day mode. Um, some people uh, might like the night mode during the day uh, because it's you know just a darkened uh, screen. So that'll be up to you uh, to decide if you want to. Now, this is where you could change the layout and move the maps onto different sizes. So you could have the media closer to the driver or you could have navigation. So you could just kind of pick which one you want. And let's go down here. Then also you could show quick controls for your apps. That's like here. So if I, uh, this music, I could hit, you know, play, pause, or whatever. And if I hit this, now it goes away. Now it just shows your recent apps. If you click on that, now you get back to your uh, toggle there if you want. And then there's, again, a couple more settings that I'll show you on the phone. So stay with me as I uh, go back to the uh, studio, and I'll go into some more settings that you could change on your phone and customize this just a little bit more. And I'll show you how to do those shortcut icons, which are really uh, convenient. So I'm back with the second half of this video, as promised, and what I'm going to show you here is all the settings and customizations you could do for Android Auto on your phone. And I'm going to show you how to do those shortcut icons, and stay to the end, because I'm going to show you how to get to this website, which makes it very easy to review all the apps that are compatible with Android Auto. For some reason, uh, the Google Play Store makes it very hard to find all the apps that are eligible or compatible with Android Auto. So I'll show you how to do that. So stay tuned. But first, let's get into our settings. Now, Android Auto used to be a separate app. So that's changed. And now it's actually in the settings. So if you go to settings and you're just in the connected devices here and you can see Android Auto. If you can't find it, you just hit Android Auto in the search and it will find it for you. But here we go. And then we just scroll down. And we got Android Auto. This is right here. So when you click on Android Auto, this is what you're going to get here. So uh, I'm not going to do uh, either of these things. I'm not going to do the previously connected cars. I'm going to first go into, uh, there's a, a few settings here that I'll go through, all of them, uh, all the important ones, and it, it should only take a few minutes here. But I'm, this is the most important one, or the one I like the most. This is the customize your launcher. So this is the thing that you could do to make those shortcuts. So you click on this. 
Now, these are all your apps that are in Android Auto. So when you have the map and the music on your side-by-side uh, -side on the screen, then you hit the button to change it to list all your apps out. This is what's going to show up here, okay? And now these are all the, the apps that are there. And then you could just hold it, and you could just slide it up and down and move them so you could uh, get the ones that are more popular, the ones you use more often, to the top. And then if you don't like them, you could just X them, or uh, if you just unclick it, it will just move it down to hidden here, and then it will not show up on your screen, but it will still be in your phone so you can add it at a later date. And if you want to add it back, you just hit check mark, and now it's back there. So that's kind of cool. But this is the big thing. Here's the shortcut right here. So you can make a shortcut so it calls a contact, and then you could list it. Uh, when you hit this, it will actually just bring you to a list of your contacts, and you pick which person you want it to call, and then it will make a little icon for that person. So if you have a person you call all the time when you leave them from work and you're getting in the car or something like that, you just have that icon, then you hit it, and it's real easy uh, to do. It saves you a little bit of time. The big thing here is the assistant action. So this is a really cool screen. So this is the command. So anything you would ask Google to do, you type right here. So after you say your wake up word for Google, this would be the command you would say. You would just type it out here. This is great for like long actions or long commands that you want to uh, use. This is also great if you have an action that you do all the time. Um, you just make it into a little icon. And this way you don't have to ask Google to do it 10 times a day. You just hit the icon and it will do it automatically, which is great. This is also great. You could have it so that uh, you have Google read your messages. You get in the car after you're working all day, you just hit the button, uh, and then Google will read all your messages. So that's great. Uh, again, you could have it call a contact. You could have it call them uh, at work or at home or a cell phone, whatever you want. You can put it right here. You could have it so it texts a person automatically with just the hit of the icon. You could have it add a calendar event if you want. Uh, the other thing you could do is uh, if you're driving around a lot, you need to find the nearest coffee shop, the nearest Starbucks. If you need to find the nearest restaurant that's open for lunch, if you want to find the nearest uh, barbecue place, the nearest hamburger joint, whatever you want, you just put it right here and Google will find it and you'll have a, a bunch of icons right on the top there and it just makes life much easier. Great features to use here. So now uh, you would label the icon. If you put the command in here, search for the nearest Starbucks, you could just put Starbucks right here and then that would show up. So instead of my action, it would say Starbucks. Then you could test the command, but you can only do this when you actually hooked up to Android Auto and then you hit the test command and you could see if it works. Not a big deal if it doesn't, you could just create a shortcut. And if it doesn't work, then let me just show you. So I set up Yankee score here. So like this, I just, what was the score of the Yankees game yesterday, right? And then Google would just read it out to me. Now, if that doesn't work or Google doesn't understand it or if it doesn't do what I want it to do, then I could just hit X and it, it's gone. And then I can make another shortcut real easy. So if you have like, you know, five shortcuts that you added, you could have, you'll have five icons on the top there. It'll be like the top row and you just pick whichever one you want. So really a uh, great thing there. Several of these uh, menu settings are on the car screen when you have Android Auto hooked up. So I'll just show you show you with them quick again because uh, you did see most of them in the first half of the video here. But stay tuned. I do have that uh, website. I'll show you how to get into to get actually uh, access to the Android Auto apps. So the day and night mode for maps. This, again, you could do it day only, night only, or automatic. Some people like, you know, a dark uh, in the night mode during the day. So you could have that or you could set it for the automatic. Start Android Auto automatically. You kind of want this because when you get in the car, you don't have to hit the icon to turn it on. So if you uh, just get in, start the car, it will automatically launch. And it uh, just takes a few seconds, especially if you, know, if you have the wireless, you don't even have to plug it in. Start Android Auto while locked, uh, while, while the phone's locked. So you definitely want this because it, your phone probably is locked. If it's in your pocket or your bag and you're getting in the car, it you, you, know, you don't want to have to unlock it to start Android Auto. You might want to just leave it in your bag the whole time. That's the whole beauty of the wireless Android Auto. So uh, you definitely want to turn that on. Start music automatically. So whatever music you were listening to before when you got out, it will just automatically start back to right where you were. If you listen to a podcast or a you know a song or something like that, it will go right back to it. The other great thing is if you have like YouTube music or whatever music app you're using, if you're using that, uh, say, at work, you have your headphones on, you're listening to music, when you get back in the car, it will pick up right where you left off and continue playing your song, your podcast, whatever you were listening to. Uh, the Google Assistant, this really doesn't... Uh, belong here, I don't think, because you click on this, it's basically just a bunch of Google settings uh, for you to update and review. So uh, that really has nothing to do with Android Auto, really. So you can go through that if you want, but you could also go through that through the Google menu if you want. So the taskbar widgets, uh, basically what this is, is there are a few apps that have controls that will be minified. Like if you open up the map to the full screen, you'll get a little uh, app on the bottom that you can control. So if it's the phone or the uh, music app, you know, you can play or pause or whatever you want to do. And that will be a little icon on the bottom that you could hit. And if you don't want that, then you just turn it off and then you would have your uh, regular icons. I showed you in that uh, in the car. Uh, the driver's seat, uh, this is where you sit for the left on the right side. And then if you want to change the layout, 
So you could have the media closer to the driver or the navigation closest to the driver. And again, that will change depending on you know what seat you're in and uh, where you want it to be. There are some companies that have a more vertical screen. So the cool walk update for the Android Auto would make it take advantage of that vertical space and it would put the maps on top and the music on the bottom. And I believe if you do this, you could toggle it so that the music is on top or the bottom or you know however you want it to do it. But I haven't tested that out. So if you have a car with a vertical uh, screen and it has a vertical layout and you could modify where the media and where the map is, which one's on top, uh, just let me know in the comments. That would be great. And I think some other people would probably want to know about that. So for notifications. So you can get an alert for um, text conversations, uh, one person, which is just this one, or a group conversations. Or you could, you know, toggle these off if you don't want to be bothered while you're driving. And then if you do get a message or something, it will show up on the notification and you'll get a number of how many texts you have. And then you can click on that kind of at your leisure at a stoplight or something like that if you want. And you can click on this one, which just shows the first line of the conversation. So you can get an idea, oh, that's Bill, and he wants to know about, uh, you know, what time we'll meet or something like that. Um, but just keep in mind, this will show up, uh, you know, a line. And, you know, if you have other people in the car, they would be able to see it too. So if you have some, you know... <laughs> You know, you could imagine things not working out right with that. So if you don't want it, that to be shown, then you just toggle that off. And again, you could turn off these notifications as well. You could also get a chime uh, when you get a notification or you could turn that off. So for the Google Analytics, what this is, uh, if you want Google to know how you're using the Android Auto and when you're using it and what apps you're using and if it crashes or, you know, if it's slow or something like that, you could have that information go to Google and they will hopefully anonymously use it to make a better system. I always uh, just click these things off. I'm sure they have enough information without me <laughs> giving them that permission, right? And a couple of things down at the bottom here that, you know, pretty standard. So let's go back. So you got Android Auto apps and you download them from the Play Store, right? You think it would be real easy. So you go to the Play Store and of course you could just type in the app that you want to download, you know, Spotify or whatever you want to do, and that's great. But if you want to just see, you know, maybe you don't know what what apps are available for Android Auto and, you know, you don't really have any good ideas. So you're not sure what to do, uh, let's try categories, right? You know, you got watch faces and other things like this. Uh, we could scroll down here. I think there was actually Auto and Vehicles. You think there would something be there? But that's not kind of really what we're looking for, right? So uh, let's, uh, I kind of scroll through in here and I didn't think there was going to be anything else, but so here's maps and navigation, right? So let's click on that. And then these are obviously, you know, those kind of apps, but you don't know which ones would work with Android Auto. So still not all that helpful, honestly. And same thing with the music and audio and the news and magazines. You know, well, you might get those apps, but then you don't know which ones are actually good for Android Auto. I made a video about Android Auto like uh, over a year ago. Um, it has a lot of views, so I'm really happy about that. And I had this website there. And I thought it was very helpful, and I just can't believe that it's not more integrated into the Google Play Store. I don't know why it's so hard to find. But you click on this. This is just a shortcut for this. I'll put the actual website uh, in my description here so you can find it. Uh, but look how nice this is. Pulls it up perfectly. Um, I kind of really like the graphics for some reason. I don't know. But uh, so here's, here's all the apps that you work with Android Auto. And then it breaks it down, you know, to music and uh, chatting and, you know, all this other stuff here. So you could, it breaks it down and you can kind of go through this and pick the app that you want. And then you know it's compatible with Android Auto. It's just so easy. I don't know why this is so hidden. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm uh, maybe overreading on this one. So I'll leave it in the comments. If you thought this was easy to find, uh, if this was helpful, leave it in the comments. That would be great. And I am still a small channel on YouTube, and I do not make any money on YouTube because I don't have enough subscribers. So uh, please help me out. Hit subscribe, like, share this video if you think someone would be interested in it. I really appreciate that. And um, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.